The Laurel Highlands Ultra first began as an adventure run in the 1970s when two brothers discovered the Laurel Highlands hiking trail. The two brothers started section running the trail and decided to attempt the entire length in one day. So they invited a few friends to join in and the race was born. The first attempt proved to be too much and none of the runners made it past mile 57 that day. The first official run was held in 1980 with seven starters. Only four made it to the finish line in Seward, Pennsylvania. The Laurel Highlands hiking trail begins in Ohio Pile, Pennsylvania and runs 70.5 miles to Seward, Pennsylvania. Each mile of the trail is marked with small concrete obelisks. It is a very challenging and technical trail. This is the story of my journey, the lows and highs, as I participated in the 42nd running of the Laurel Highlands Ultra. finally made it to Ohio Pile. We got the uh, waterfall behind me there. Um, yeah, it was a long drive, but tomorrow is the race. Start super early. Uh, we'll see how it goes, you know. My training's been crap, <laughs> you know, so just gonna give it the old college try and see if these legs can still climb. Climbing, climbing. Whoever's been out here weed eating, thank you very much. About four miles in so far. A lot of climbing. Heading down to start another massive climb, the biggest climb of the day. And we are headed up the biggest climb of the day. Part of it. About six miles in almost. Moving right along. Oh, that's so beautiful. Man, that was gorgeous. Just left aid station one, mile 11.6-ish, 11, something like that. Feeling pretty good. Had an issue with the top of my foot. I think the tape that I had put around for taping my ankle up was too tight, so I had to cut some of that. And then put some Luco tape on it. Hopefully that'll settle out and I can be all right. Otherwise, feeling pretty good. Ahead of pace.
All right, well, I just left aid station two. Uh, that was mile 19.3. That section was rough. <laughs> it was a good, real steep climb. Didn't have my poles. Still don't have my poles. I left them back. Got it done. Foot issue feels better. Legs are just not used to the vert. So we're like a little over 19 miles in and about 4,500 feet of climbing and 3,000 feet of descent so far. So it's been pretty good, pretty challenging, but we'll get it done. Plenty of time, it's a long day. Temperature wise, it feels good. A little humid, I mean, we're sweating a lot, but temperature wise, it's not bad at all. part of the course but worth it Legs aren't trained the way they need to be. I'm trying to dig out of it. I know lows are common in ultras. I just gotta keep fighting and then I'll find a high point. Just gotta keep digging. So, so apparently there's a sporting clay, like gun range thing nearby I keep hearing lots and lots of gunshots so the sign said stay on trail ah, ah. just landed on my heel where that spot in my oh, foot where it shifted, something happened. Oh, that hurt. <sighs> Coming into aid station three. Aid station three just a little bit ago. Picked up my poles. See if I can keep on moving. Aid station to aid station, you know what I mean. <sighs> oh, coming into the Seven Springs Ski Resort. Ah, oh, to the right. I gotta walk a bit, see if I can let these legs rest or something. Having an injury and not being able to train. It sucks. That's a pretty view though.
50k distance in six hours and 40 minutes official distance i got some other runners coming up behind me here it's like a relay runner maybe oh i just don't have the legs Whew. good job just doing the relay. hey you're still doing good Ooh, as tired as my legs are right now after 31 I just don't know if I have it to go another 40 the power's not there no no training that'll do it so heed that warning <laughs> take a lesson from me don't start a race you're not trained for Outside of uh, aid station four, I really wanted to drop right there. <laughs> I'm not lying. I mean, I was, I was ready to turn in my bib, but my stinking wife, <laughs> I love her. She did her job as crew, crew chief. She told me, you know, keep going. You got aid station to aid station. Just walk if you have to. You're up on time. You know, just see if you can recover, walk a bit. So. I'm doing that and I'm running when I can and we'll reassess when we get to the next aid station one at a time I ate some uh, scratch energy chews that had some caffeine too so maybe the caffeine will help perk up my legs a bit or something I don't know I'm trying anything so we'll see it's really pretty though So I left um, aid station five, I believe is what it was. Pretty fairly quick stop. Used the massage gun on my quads while Valen uh, filled up some water, tailwind, got me some spring energy gels. And for the first time ever at an ultra or an aid station, I had some soda. I had, a, uh, I had some Mountain Dew. So that caffeine was good and it was cold and tasted great. <laughs> So I'm feeling better, still moving, legs are still dead, but I'm able to move, so I'm gonna move. And uh, yep, trucking on seven miles to the next aid station. Uh, over seven miles actually, just a little bit over. Forty miles in, nine hours and eleven minutes. So doing okay. Gotta be able to keep moving. So rocky. Oh, these ferns are so beautiful. They're big too. Forty-five miles, ten hours and twenty-three minutes. It's definitely slowing down. Anything else? Floral water bottle. Very nice. Very nice. 
Okay. Oh, long. It's gonna be a long haul the next one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Lovely That's footage. That's enough of that. Okay. All right. Just left the uh, aid station number six. About 46 miles in. Uh, this is a long haul to the next one. It's like 10.7 miles to the next aid station. So it's after four o'clock in the afternoon. Picked up another headlamp for my waist. Drank some more Mountain Dew. <laughs> uh, had some uh, Lenny and Larry's cookie, or a good bit of it. Drank some water, got all the waters and tailwind refilled and some more spring energy gels. This next segment's gonna be slow, but doesn't matter, I'm gonna get it done. <sighs> Onward and upward. Literally, I think there's a good bit of climbing on this. Freaking hey, 50 miles. 50 miles and 11 hours and 52 minutes. Uh, about six miles to the aid station. This course is so beautiful. So beautiful. Getting close to aid station seven now, probably another I don't know, six, seven tenths of a mile. Oh, it's been slow. Oh, I just ate a, a spring energy gel. It's so humid. Just non-stop, like pouring sweat off my face. Uh, I probably won't be able to record too much more after this aid station because it's gonna be getting dark soon, but I'll see what I can do. All right, just left aid station seven. This is the last aid station I'll see my wife. We've got one more in about uh, just under five miles. And then it's like eight-ish to the finish. So basically I have a half marathon to go. It's gonna be slow, but we're gonna get it done. We will get it done. All right, just left the last aid station, about eight miles to the finish. It's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a while, but we'll get it done. All right, see you at the finish. Coming into the finish. Oh. About 70. Yeah, we were doing uh, yeah. oh, That's pretty awesome, dude. Thank you, man. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, for sure. Do <laughs> you like show up? How did you show up? Yeah, um, maybe. Uh, a little bit. I can hear you. I did. Ah, uh, I'm wrecked. That's <laughs> awesome. Well, what's up, everybody? It is now Sunday the next day. We got back last night and uh, just showered, ate some vegan pizza my wife picked up uh, before the finish and had in the car, so I devoured that, which was awesome. Uh, but then just tried to get some sleep and honestly didn't sleep real well. You know, I had the achy legs, I did pop some ibuprofen, um, but just still, I had a lot of caffeine last night as well, yesterday in the race, so I just couldn't sleep well. But got up this morning, it was a really nice hotel. It actually had a really big jetted tub, so I soaked in that for a little bit, had some breakfast. And got the cool trophy right here. This is what you get, just like the uh, obelisks that mark the every mile of the trail. Um, so it's rated at 70 miles, but it came up a little bit short on my watch, but that's, you know, GPS watches aren't perfect. So 
uh, it was a okay race. You know, it, it, it was a beautiful course, just so much really beautiful scenery. Uh, it was, I recommend it for sure, it is gorgeous, but it's tough. I mean, there's so many rocks and roots throughout the entire trail that you're constantly focused. And there's no, there's never a point where you can just like relax for a second. It was just nonstop focus. And they don't believe in switchbacks here either. It was just straight up, straight down. So it was, it was tough. I fueled pretty much the whole way with uh, Tailwind and uh, Spring Energy Gels. Yeah, I did have a couple of small things here and there, but it wasn't much at all. I mean, I had a lot of Spring Energy Gels and a lot of Tailwind. Didn't cramp at all. It was just the legs. We're not used to that kind of climbing. And, and that distance I haven't done in a long time and with the injury I haven't been able to run much more than like on average about 25-30 miles a week so it's been it was tough <laughs> but anyway we're gonna head back uh, we got a nine-ish hour drive home so gonna hit the road thank you for watching I appreciate you guys hanging out if you want to take a look at the race video from the Yamacraw 50k I did three weeks ago that'll be on your screen over here you can look at that and then over on this side will be some other trail running videos you can take a look at so don't forget to give the video a like that would be much appreciated and uh, if you're new, you know, click subscribe. That would be cool too. And uh, you'll see more videos. And yeah, thank you for watching. I appreciate you. And I'll see you on the next one.